So you came back. So you're back. That means you want to know. Well, that means two things. One of two things. You either want to know why we're now living with my grandma and what happened to our house that we bought two years ago. And if you don't know what we're talking about, go watch our previous video. Or, number two, you just love us. <laughs> we love you too. So two years ago. Two years ago. Deanna and I decided to buy our first home. <laughs> our starter home. Now, we've decided to sell the home. Uh -huh. And we're both going to quit our jobs and travel for a year. As crazy as that sounds, we've decided that I think it would be good for us to go and travel and just see the world. And there are a few reasons why we'd like to do that. Diana, why are we traveling for a year? Well, number one, it's a chance to relax and reflect on what our priorities are and what we want as humans. And I know that sounds really crazy to a lot of people. Yeah. And But it is what it is. And it's something that's really important to us. We've been in school since we were five. Yeah. Five, and then right after school, we went right to college. And then right after college, we went right into the workforce. So we haven't had a chance to actually fully relax and rejuvenate since we were four. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> since we yeah, were four crazy. years old. <laughs> and we figured, like, you know, now is a, a perfect time to... Travel and see the world. I mean, yeah. we don't have kids we, right now, not so yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so we just got married, so we don't really have kids, and like, um, I guess well, actually, I don't have any kids. I don't have and any Lawrence, kids. <laughs> and Lawrence doesn't have any that I know about. <laughs> I don't have any kids, but now is a perfect time to go and travel and see the world um, while we don't really have like, um, I guess, quote unquote, responsibilities, yeah. but. The reason why I think that, you know, taking this year off will be good for us is because, um, you know, we never, like Deanna mentioned, we never really got a chance to actually relax. Um, Since we were four. Yeah. So, you know, most people, or an example I can think of is like when you're transitioning for, from high school to college, some people will take that gap year off mm -hmm. just to relax and reflect. And I think that this would be good for us, similar to like how you have like a weekend. So when you're working, you know, you work five days a week, mo typically five days a week, and then you have the weekend to relax and Prepare yourself for Rejuvenate. the next week. Um, so this gap year is kind of like us, you know, taking a break and just focusing on things that are, you know, a priority to us and just giving us the chance to, I guess, prepare ourselves for the next stage in our lives. Yeah. So. And it's not like we're just planning on packing our bags and like going to just lay on the beach for a whole entire year. Like we do plan on doing things while we're gone. Clearly life isn't free and traveling isn't free. So we're going to have to sustain ourselves somehow. Um, I don't want to get too much into the financial thing because if you want to learn more about that, there's a video for that. Yes. So, um, but, you know, we're going to have to do things. Honestly, we're just really looking forward to building our channel. And, of course, traveling the world is some pretty epic content. So, of course, that's going to make our channel. Hopefully, you guys still rock with us. And hopefully you'll come along for the ride with us. And that leads me to like one of my biggest reasons I want to go is because I noticed at first I wanted to go. Of course, uh, it's very enticing to want to go and like travel the world and see the world and go for a year. But I really, really wanted to go when I started doing research and noticing that there are not a lot of people that look like us who travel full time. And also talking to our family members and stuff like that. It's like the most shocking thing ever to them. Like no one does that. They don't know. But if you actually go on YouTube and type in full-time travelers, there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of people who full-time travel. Yeah. And like maybe 1% of those people are black. Yeah. It really does um, put things into perspective. Like how there's not a lot of representation for... I guess people of our yeah. skin tone. And there are people who travel a lot. And there are couples who travel a lot. But I literally have not found one completely black couple. Like both partners were black. That travel full time. Not yeah. one. If you know one. <laughs> if you're watching this and you are a couple. The 100% black couple who travels full time. 
Not like you go on trips and then come back home. No, like one whole year gone, you travel. Let me know, please, because I have so many questions. And my thing is, if I have questions, I know there are other girls that look like me that have so many questions. Like, I need to know how I'm going to do my hair. They ain't going to have my hair products in Southeast Asia. Yeah, there's a lot of questions that um, you can't really have answered by watching. You know? Yeah, I can't find any answers to any of the questions I have. So I'm going to be the test dummy. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I'm the guinea pig for all these girls who could come after me. And believe that they can do it too and realize like there are answers and there are solutions. Mm -hmm. And like you don't have to stay home just because you're scared that your nappy head is going to look real nappy. Yeah, because, you know, uh, I think I think traveling is a really good at, like to do as a person because it'll help you learn about different cultures and, you know, mold you as a person. So and a lot of people like I, this is me just thinking, but a lot of people abroad don't really see people of our color, they like, don't. you know, traveling a lot. So. I guess they this really would don't. give them a chance to, um, I guess, get to know, expand. Yeah, expand their horizons. Just like we're expanding our horizons, like by us going into their, um, like their intimate like settings and stuff like that. I mean, it might be an intrusion, but yeah, at least they'll see people like us. And then, and then this will give us a chance to inspire others to, you know, take that leap of faith and know that they can do the same thing as well. Exactly. So. Now, let me just say that I do know a lot of, a handful of black women um, on YouTube and on Instagram and other platforms who do full-time travel. Like there's Glow, um, there's Onika. Well, she doesn't full-time travel, but she does long-term traveling. Mm -hmm. There's Hey Sierra. There's a lot of pioneers. However, none of them wear their natural hair. Literally, not one. Oh, yeah. Except Onika, but she has locks, so I don't have locks, so it's not the same. And like I said, she's not a full-time traveler, so she goes home eventually and can get, like, what she needs. Um, I, none of them wear their natural hair. And the one, um, I can't remember the lady's name who was the first black woman to travel to every single country in the world. But she has hair, it's shaved down. Yeah. So, I mean, I could shave my head, but I don't <laughs> want to. So it's like, I have so many hair questions, y'all. So many hair questions. And I don't even, I don't even know. But yeah, there are plenty of pioneer women, but there is not a couple that looks like us, you know, either one of the people, one of the partners is black. The other one is another uh, race or something. And that's not a bad thing. And we definitely watch their videos to learn things. But there are just some questions that like we don't have answers to. Yeah, because sometimes you want to like see what it's like to travel to different places as a couple. Um, sh sure, soloing might be yeah. different from like traveling as a couple. Definitely. So, yep. But, so those are our reasons. If you guys any questions at all, uh, feel free to comment below and we'll get back to you with any answers you have. If this is shocking to you, then it's shocking to us too <laughs> i'm not shocked i'm with it it's shocking to lawrence i had to talk him into it but it's okay my parents honestly weren't shocked either i mean they were like great good for you go for it um for the most part my family members have been pretty supportive they have a lot of questions and they're trying to figure out why the heck if we have good jobs why would we leave them because that's not yeah. what they did back in the day you know but who knows what this could turn into something that's like way more beneficial yeah, another opportunity. In a lot of aspects, not even just financially, but mm -hmm. like, I hope to come back a better human. Mm -hmm. Me too. So, so if if you want to, you know, follow along with our journey, we're gonna be posting more. You don't more. have a choice. <laughs> you're gonna follow our journey. You're gonna watch these videos. And you're gonna be inspired. You're gonna like it. <laughs> but anyway, you know, just follow along with us. We'll post more videos in terms of like what we're actually doing to prepare ourselves yeah. for this um, year of travel. Mm -hmm. Because um, we aren't just, you know, taking a, a, a leap of faith and not yeah. really I mean, putting things in. We sold our home. So. Yeah. So we're, we're actually putting things in place. So right now, the reason why we're staying at her, her um, grandmother's place is to actually save money um, in preparation for our year of travel next year. Yeah. And with Which this. hard to do with a mortgage. Yeah. So and with this whole COVID stuff happening, um, I think it's perfect timing for us to actually sell our home and, and give us enough time to, you know, save a nest yeah. egg to travel with. So. Yep, but as always, make sure you like and comment and, and subscribe. And don't forget to put on the push notification so that way you get notified each time we put up a new video. Uh-huh, and as always, 
Thanks, Thanks for, for doing, doing life with us. With us.